Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmi Hongos, and today we're gonna to be looking at the Logitech Lyft, which is one of my more interesting purchases as I am getting old and the insurance on my body is starting to give out. Personally, just to drop the conclusion, it's an interesting mouse that I will personally be keeping because of the ergonomics. However, I feel that Logitech is making me choose between this amazing ergonomic device and this really pro mouse that I've owned for several years, the MX Master series, which I really love. I say that because it's missing two buttons that I use on a consistent basis, which are the scroll wheel on the side and this little button that lets me launch Mission Control. However, I find that the ergonomic benefits that's helped my wrist, I'm not saying cured it, but helped me manage it, are very well worth it. With that, let's get right into the review. The outer appearance is automatically noticeable on anybody's desk as we're used to seeing very traditional looking mouses. And it also comes in a wide variety of colors, black, white, and pink. I personally went with black because it looks the best around my setting. Surrounding the mouse, there are several buttons. Most of them are very, very silent, like the left and right click and the wheel. Take a listen. It's, it's so quiet, it's strange. There's also a button that you can program in the software and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But the two parts that aren't silent are the back and forth key. And the overall purpose of the design is to keep you in a neutral position. And I wanna talk about that for just a little bit because I noticed certain behaviors that I just automatically did with this one. So for example, the mouse, I didn't notice that I was going at an angle like this quite a few times. Like my wrist was always in that position and I don't know how long I've been doing that for, but once I placed it on this mouse, it just felt so freeing on my wrist and why it could have potentially helped me throughout the past few weeks that I've been using the mouse. I might have not done that right away as I was just constantly bumping my hand on the mouse, like trying to find where it was. So it does take some getting used to, and then you have to notice if your wrist is in the right position, which the mouse kind of naturally makes me do it, right? Like if it's placed like this, I'm gonna hold it like this, as compared to this mouse, which is like this. So it makes it feel like I need my hand needs to be in this position when it really doesn't. My wrist just hurt a little bit less and my hands felt more freeing. Also, I was no longer clicking with the very front of my fingers. Instead, I was doing it more to the side, like this. That felt a little bit more freeing and a little bit more normal. Like in a weird way, these feel like more normal things that it would do and my hand is in a more neutral position. So I think that the design is very well thought out. Then there's a material that the mouse is made out of and it's 70% recycled. And you can really feel it, it's nice and lightweight, but I'm a little scared that if I drop it, uh, it's just gonna crack into two pieces. This is, has a nice heft to it, but I can understand why the weight is placed where it's at, right? It makes it much easier to move around and my hand doesn't have to put as much pressure onto the mouse as before. So I can see the trade-off, but for me personally, I would have just liked to seen a little bit more heft to the product. In terms of function and software, for me personally, the software was not installing on my Mac whatsoever, but I don't feel like you're missing out on anything since the buttons, although this top one can be programmed, the side buttons, the ones that I'm used to on the MX Master Series, like the scroll wheel, and the side button aren't there. So for me, I don't feel like I was missing out on anything. There is Logitech Flow, which lets you transfer files and use your mouse from one computer to another without having to automatically switch the buttons in the back. And this mouse does support three computers all at once. I see this being more beneficial if you are both a Mac user and a PC user. But if someone could tell me why it's not working on the Mac, I've tried literally everything let me know down below. There's also a battery life and it runs on a single battery. You can pop it from the back and go in there and it's very, very small. And it's supposed to last, I think I think this is a AA battery. It's supposed to last you for two years. The mouse hasn't been out for two years. So that's a very brave claim to make. And I don't particularly know that's accurate. It's worked perfectly fine for me. And I haven't had to change the battery since I got it a few weeks ago. So. It's holding up so far. <laughs> and to wrap up my conclusion, this MX Master Lift is really great. And one item that I plan on keeping, there is another bigger brother to this, but personally, I like the small compactness, even though it's a little bit lightweight, I would have liked to see a bit more heft, but the other one just makes it feel like you're carrying a rock 
to work on your computer, right? And we're all about aesthetics on this channel, apparently. But as an avid MX Master user for many, many years, I wish that these two could have a baby and give me like a pro MX Master lift with the buttons on the side. As you can, as you can tell, that's a consistent complaint throughout the video. Uh, I really like the experience, what it brings. It feels like different, right? Like it's a new, it's a different piece of tech and it makes me think about how we interact with our computers and how we have been doing it kind of wrong the whole time. So I love when companies do that. And I don't know, it's just like a really cool object. Personally for me, um, since I really need mission control, this makes me feel like I need to add the trackpad. And if I think if you're a Mac user, then you might want to consider that too. Like you have your side track and the mouse on the side. You need to have like a triple setup just to type, right? That's what I personally plan on doing. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as I love to have conversations on there. Remember, I am still selling my I shoot 24 FPS mug. So if you want to support the channel, feel free to do that down below. At the end of the day, thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Azmi Hongos and I'll catch you in the next one.